Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go over how to get your column names in either an index, list, set, or tuple. If you're like me and you want to squeeze out every bit of performance possible, we'll also go over the best method for performance. To get started, we'll import pandas SPD, read in our data. This is data from 538 on college majors. Perhaps the easiest method to remember is df.columns. This will return an index of our column values. This is convenient. We can index it just like any other iterable object. So if we wanted the first three categories just like that, we can use a for loop with it and so forth. One problem is that it doesn't have any list methods. So for example, we can't use the pop method. If we wanted to return a list of our column names, we can use square brackets, just like we would a list, and then pass in star df. And there we have it, a list of all our column values. Similarly, for a set, we'd use the curly braces and pass in star df. For a tuple, it's a little bit different. We don't need to use parentheses. All we have to do is star df and the important part, comma. And then we have a tuple of our column values. Just to show you, if we didn't include that comma, we would get a syntax error. So let's put that back. These methods require Python 3.5 or greater. If you're using something less than Python 3.5, what you can do is list and pass in DF, set pass in DF, and tuple pass in DF, and you'll get your answer. For those of you who have a need for speed, we can use df.columns.toNumpy.toList. What this does is return the column values, converts it to a NumPy array, and then converts it to a list. This is quite a bit more to type out than our methods above, but we do get a performance boost. I'm not exactly sure <laughs> how important performance is when trying to get a list of column names, but if you are curious, here it is. You may be wondering why we use to numpy instead of dot values. That's a good question. I'll create another video on why we want to use to numpy in more detail, and I'll link it to this video once it's created. For our own curiosity, let's look at time it and see how long each of these methods take. And there we have it. When we need a list, the dot to numpy method is the fastest, but if you don't need to convert the column values to a list, df.columns is by far the fastest. And if you wanted a list of your column names sorted, you can easily do that with sorted df.